Hey everybody, what's up? It is almost trapping season and I'm procrastinating. I believe it starts tomorrow. Tomorrow is, I don't know what date, the, October 17th. But anyways, I got the case of uh, the procrastination and it's kind of bit me a little bit, not too bad, but bad enough. What I got going on now is I'm putting up a temporary wall for the winter for trapping season. What I got is one inch insulation, a couple two by fours, and that's about it. I'm going to stuff the, the top of the, the gaps with fiberglass insulation. And also I'll be firing up. I got a Mr. Heater from a, a friend at work. Hooked up to a little propane tank, and I'll be firing that thing up pretty soon. It's getting cold out. So what I really want to talk to you about was uh, safety on the trap line. You know, it's things could go wrong with anything. Your health, your you could end up getting tripped. Or something break your leg, you could get your arm stuck in a a kind of bear trap, a bigger size one. So, so what I want to talk to you about was this notebook. It's a a map of where I have all my traps set. Well, this is from last year, and I have this drawn out myself and a friend of mine, my friend Scott and he's been trapping for a long time it's he's got he probably forgot more than I'll ever learn but he said that it's not a bad idea to to have your trap line mapped out you can have landmarks you can have buildings um Bricks, which would fall under landmarks, I guess, in which way you're going north, south, east, west, kind of a thing. What types of traps? How many traps? And give a routine of where you're going, what place you start with first, and where you're going to end. And it doesn't hurt to have two of these one in your truck and one at home. And in case something does happen, if you fall or something, you can't get up and, and, or if you're sick at home, you can have a friend go out and check your trap line for you and he can look at this map and know exactly where to go. So it's, it's kind of a, a good thing to have. It's, you want to go home safe no matter what you do. Either it's bow hunting, you don't you want to wear your harness, you don't want to fall out of a tree. Duck hunting, you don't want to end up getting your waders full of water and you can't get back out and you end up drowning, you know, kind of a thing. You got to you got to play it safe. It's not all fun and games once in a while, but you just got to Think of what you're do think be beyond what you're doing. Think of your loved ones. So this is my little safety tip for any outdoorsman. So I don't have a joke and well safety is no joke, is it? So so if you made it this far in the video, make sure you check out some of my other videos that I'm gonna put right here and Maybe right there too. So um, subscribe, like, leave a comment as usual, and enjoy the little things. Tight chains to the trappers.